Hello, Internet! And here we are, Saturday night, Super Metroid. It's the way things should be because Super Metroid's a damn fine game. With me on the CoCom tonight is Kanan! Hello, Kanan! Hi. Yes! The Lord Master of the CoCom. Where would, right. I, where would I be without her, seriously? She keeps I'm me on track. Kind of... <laughs> yeah, you need to be on all leash. Yes, seriously. So, we got Super Metroid, because it felt like a good thing to do, because with all the things with XSplit 1.1 going on, not everything worked the way it was supposed to. But with the help of Chad, motherfucking Chad James, figuring everything out, we got it on track, and here we are. So, that being said... Yes, tweet, tweet, tweet. Get this out there. Get the word out there. So much going on as the demo decides to play through and show off many cool parts of the game. Um, Alright, I'm already up to 10. Let's see if we can get up to 20 and maybe even 30. So, on that note, let's get a rockin' and a rollin'. Please tweet this stuff. Use the Twitch channel. I prefer you use the ScrewTech channel, but either or will be fine. Just want people out here and have some fun. That being said, how does everything sound? Because there was a bit of a kerfuffle earlier, and I had to enable some leg legacy uh, audio settings. It seems to be working fine on my end now, um, because before I couldn't even see the uh, audio meter pegging back and forth for my microphone. And hopefully you guys should be able to hear Canon too, because I know there was a kerfuffle with that, but that's uh, behind us. Ever forward, bigger, better, onward and upward. Thank you, Drew. And here we are. What's the verdict? Oh, sure. Like, oh, good. I think his voice is kind of bad. Thank you, Drew. Hurts the pride. Ouch. All right. And we continue with Samus B. Let's see if we can't. <laughs> Dude, you can't. I just retreat. You fucks given zero. Wow. Oh, and the Brin Star, eh? So be it. Uh, I know, she I just like to antagonize. It's my way. She's a full-time instigator, don't you know? I am the Brin Queen. Yes. So speaking of uh, getting burned, care to tell everybody how you found out that happiness costs 70 cents? <laughs> yeah. I went to Costco to some errands and stuff today, and then we decided it's looking hot. Look at a Dairy Queen. And my sister's the type that she likes to, you know, get sprinkles put on her sauce. And any door, really, when something costs extra, apparently I sound chopping. Uh, you do uh, sound a little bit robotic, but I don't know how much better we're going to get. Let me hang up with you and play back since that scene fix it briefly for me. So I will finish the rest of the call. Jar Jar Banks, okie day. Hero. Hero. Hey, there we go. I need to turn that mode back on. I keep forgetting. There was a um a thing to uh, auto cancel whatever item you have highlighted when you make a room transition. I keep forgetting to turn that back on. Doing good, psychosis. Hey, psychosis, how's it going, dude? Uh, but anyways, as I was saying, someone just likes to order sprinkles and spit that for her Sunday. And whenever something costs extra, you are actually obligated. You have to tell the customer that it's going to cost extra. You can't just charge them something and then be like, oh, by the way, this is going to cost extra. Yeah, so... Bullshit. ASI. Apparently I still sound choppy. Better than you did just a moment ago. So, yeah, anyways, so, anyways, um, the girl rang us through, my sister went to pay it, she's like, wait, that shouldn't cost that much, and then the girl says, oh, well, your sprinkles cost 70 cents, and she's like, you're kidding me, right, you got to charge for sprinkles now, and she's like, yeah, it's 70 cents for sprinkles, so, <laughs> my sister's like, oh, so apparently happiness costs 70 cents now. Yeah, it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome to the wrecked ship, which is doesn't work right now because there's no power. <laughs> I like how they uh, worked this uh, into um, Metroid Zero Mission, where they had um, had it be the space pirate base of operations. Makes a, a whole bunch of things makes more sense when you play Super Metro. It's like, well, how come this thing wasn't ever in the NES original? It's like, well, maybe they weren't thinking that far ahead. And now, well, now they have it. <laughs> and it's all nice and coherent and, oh, for F's sake. Stop failing. There. Stop sucking, Tom. Pretty much. Let's go fight the Fantoon, because it's sucking up all the power in here. And that's never okay. Charge B, mother lover! I'm gonna shoot missiles at you, because I have so many of them. It's gonna be awesome. Or should I try Super Missile? Oh, I missed. That's cool, got the Metal Gear Solid HD collection. Oh, excellent! Hey, <laughs> did anybody see the gameplay footage of uh, Metal Gear Ground Zero? Yeah, so we've been talking about it in the chat. Oh my god, I just saw, I, when I heard they were actually going to show off actual gameplay of that at PAX, I was like, that's worth going to PAX just alone because... For those of you who haven't heard Hideo Kojima speak, he just has a way about him that I really can't describe. <laughs> So it's uh, it's pretty cool whenever he does, and the fact that they he was going to speak and show off gameplay of well, what we now know is is Project Ogre. That's just really cool for me. I thought it was going to be at least until Tokyo Game Show before we're actually going to see any gameplay. That's going to be the first thing I'm going to do once the stream is over. And speaking of which, how is the stream? Because it said it dropped about a hundred frames when we first started. How's it look on your end? Because it took me a while to try to figure out with all of XSplit's new settings that what got what. And I know I could shoot these things to avoid them, but I got enough health to just Driven take it. Work. Right. Excellent! Glad to hear it. Yeah, a uh, bunch of us played Strike earlier, and we were talking about the, the new Fox engine and stuff like that. And I said, because uh, he had actually tweeted you this, because he's a fan of the He said that he actually love to put Silent Hill on the Fox engine. I'm sitting there going, if you put that on the Fox engine, Silent Hill would have to be downright terrifying. Yeah, I know, that's what I saw. It's like, Hideo Kojima wants to do a, uh, a Silent Hill? Sign uh, me up. I know. That's exactly what the franchise needs. Take all of my dollars. Take it now. And Shut up and take my money! <laughs> it's like, just take it all. Take all the money! Because it's going to go to an amazing cause which is the return of Silent Hill. Because I remember a long time ago, like, during development of Metal Gear Solid 4, he said he wanted to do a zombie game, but a different zombie game. Um, something similar to what ended up becoming uh, Left 4 Dead. He wanted to do something like that. But when you died or you got attacked by a zombie, you were permanently a zombie for the rest of the duration of that game. So he was thinking, like, almost like an MMO. Like if Left 4 Dead was uh, massively multiplayer and stuff like that, that would have been interesting. Okay. Now we got the power back on, let's go... Let's go get some suits. Which was the best thing that you could hear from a customer when you worked at a store like Joseph A. Bank. I need a couple of suits and you're thinking, paycheck! Metal Gear Zombie. Zombie Walker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie you, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know... I can be taking all of them at least of NFT Origins the Street 25th Anniversary Collector Set. Speaking of Collector Set, did you see the Final Fantasy one? I did see that one in my... my and he may be in the chat tonight, uh, Carl Magnus Moore. Magnificent Mag, he actually put up, he said, um vacation for the fiance or this and I'm like when did you get engaged <laughs> this is news to me <laughs> it's 
So congratulations. <laughs> Aha. Whoops. Yeah, well, that thing was uh, pretty big, and I'm like, can I just get all the stuff for like one through six? You can keep the rest of it. <laughs> Pretty swanky, no matter how you cut it, though. That's fan service! Kind of like how I wish um, Nintendo would do something like this. You know, putting all the Metroids on one disc, kind of like they did with uh, Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Zelda 5, and <laughs> Zelda 6. Uh, you know, I'm just kind of depressed the fact that uh, Nintendo really gave no love. For the the Metroid anniversary, like everything else. No, Metroid, they. Yeah, that really. It's bigger. Metroid's bigger in North America than it is. It always know. has been. No, so that, that's kind of sad that you know. Hey, it actually is a decent like, franchise, just not in Japan. So it's like, oh, it doesn't sell big in Japan. <laughs> well, they're still thinking to like you know. They're still thinking for Japan. They need to think globally. And if Nintendo actually did that, and like if Nintendo of America kind of like took charge of itself the same way Sega of America did back during the Genesis's heyday, um, I think they would, you know, we would see a very, very different landscape, like an online infrastructure for the Wii that doesn't suck. Because <laughs> I, I really don't know what Japan's doing. Like, I have yet to see them produce a console. And this includes the Dreamcast, I'm sorry, that doesn't have netcode backing it up that doesn't completely suck. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. You, Tom, what's your favorite Metroid? Oh, it's this one, definitely. Yeah, in here. Um, followed closely by that is the Prime series. Um, I was just totally floored with what Retro Studios did with it, and I really, like, the way they implemented the grappling beam in it, which was, like, my favorite power-up, which unfortunately gets totally negated by the, um, screw attack, uh, not the screw attack, the space jump later in the game, but, um, the way they implemented it in the Prime series was so smart that I was thinking, like, dude, these guys need to get together with Capcom and make a, a Bionic Commando game, because this works. <laughs> so, you know, that would have been something, really something, to see what Capcom and Retro Studios could have done for a Bionic... a, a first-person Bionic Commando game. Or third-person, that would have been fine, too. Because we saw them, they're clearly able to do that kind of stuff with Donkey Kong Country Returns. <laughs> I know, I've been playing a shit ton of Crimson Echoes. I don't know what that is. That's the game that I told you about. James mentioned to me that it was oh, a... Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Chrono Trigger sequel. Yeah, uh, it, uh, Radical Dreamers. Not Radical Dreamers. I thought that was what... Made. Radical Dreamers oh. is not legit. That is a text... or uh, a text-based adventure game. Yes. Which was supposed to be... That is the middle ground between Chrono Trigger yeah. and Chrono Cross. It's more, it's more like the light the, the, Chrono Cross it deals with the characters from Chrono Cross. Yeah, because like it's got links in it, which is you know which yeah. really weirded the f out of a lot of people. Yeah. It's like what the hell? The f, man. Mm-hmm. But anyways, yeah, no. Um, Crimson Echoes was uh, a fan project. That they took the original Chrono Trigger engine, like they they based it off that they used the character like the same specs and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually had a really good right artist come in and upgrade the uh, the portraits for the characters because it takes it's five years after uh, Chrono Trigger ends. Uh -huh. So they updated the portraits and they look fucking fantastic. It legitimately looks like it should belong to the game. Mm -hmm. um, and they made it quite far with the game, but of course you know Square. Uh, issued a cease and desist when they were at 98% completion of the game. Oh, of course they did. Yeah, of course. And you know, if if Square was a Western company, they would have said, okay, here's uh, an offer. We're going to buy all the assets for this and we're going to finish it ourselves. And that would have been basically found money. <laughs> but no, they're Japanese and there's this whole respect and inferiority complex issue and. And, you know, unless if you have a PC, then that's the only way you're ever going to play it. <laughs> Which bugs the crap out of me. That's 
Anyways, uh, so yeah, it was at 98% completion. Destroyed the, uh, all the works, except what they did, it's actually on YouTube, you can actually go on YouTube, uh, um, they did a complete walk video walkthrough of the game. Mm -hmm. So, to actually show that, yes, we were actually legitimately at 90% a bunch of people were like, nah, you weren't that far with the, you know, blah, blah, blah. And Yeah, uh, but the like Chrono Resurrection Project would, didn't get very far beyond the trailer that was released. Yeah. This one actually, like, it plays quite well. Um, and from what I've heard, like, I'm actually testing the, the edition that I have, because, uh, uh destroyed it but somehow it really did on the internet like everything does and some people actually went and finished the game oh good so i don't know if the one that i'm playing is the finished one or the one that's at 90 percent complete they said the 98 percent you can still beat the game but there's a lot of technical issues in this i see yeah, yeah that's so. like what happened with like Star Fox 2 was like it was 97% and it was like some code optimization and not all the credits were implemented. That was like what was, you know. Well, yes, Wordman, you could go and dump ROM on an SNES card, but the only thing is, though, is that there are still a lot of technical issues with it. So if you've got a game-breaking glitch, then you pay a shit ton of money to get that put onto a cart mm -hmm. and fucking yourself over. Yeah, I would, I would be a little bit upset. <laughs> yeah. Crap. You know, especially but, like, no, um... It's actually, oh. like, it's really fucking well done. Um, the only complaints that I have so far, like, playing the game, is they kind of changed Frog's character, in a way. Uh, and same with Magus. Like, to, to Magus and Frog, which they actually changed it to, you know, they changed it back to his real name, and don't say it for people that haven't actually played the game. Um, but yeah, they, they actually changed it back to his actual name. And you know how Frog always spoke very proper, like Old English? Yeah. Not to, not to the extent that Cyan did, but pretty... <laughs> Mr. You know, thou. Mr. Thou. <laughs> but yes, so... But they actually got rid of that, and he, like... It, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's just... He's just like, oh, I actually don't really like all that pompous crap. And I'm like, Frog would never say crap. And he's very, very old-fashioned. You know what I would? You know what it is. I think they based it off Frog from Life in a Game. Maybe. <laughs> Don't and be then, such a bitch. Well, he hasn't done that. But the the other thing that kind of pees me is how he and Magus interact. Like, well, I think bygones is bygones by now at no, this point for them. Okay, just let me just put it this way. Okay. They were of grumpy old men. That's <laughs> how they interact with each other. That is exactly how they interact with each other. I'm like, really? Exactly, uh, Lousy Tactician. I actually enjoyed Frog's proper English, so that's kind of sad that they kind of just, like, altered the character like that. I'm like, eh. <gasps> no. No! No! Get. What game are you looking for, Psychosis? Damn it, Beavis. <laughs> Wurpin says, who would voice Cyan? Um... Sean Connery! Huh? Oh, Sean Connery? I was gonna say Liam Neeson. Like, but in his, like, character that he did for Rob Roy, but I want him to have the attitude like he did in Taken. I don't know who you are. I don't know why you killed my family and the entire kingdom that I've been sworn to protect. But I have a certain set of skills. And I will find you. And I will kill you. Using Bushido. <laughs> Or sword attack, if you prefer the original. And now I have the gravity suit. Now I can do things in water. Okay, put it to chat room vote. Okay, if Cyan was to be voiced, who would you rather see him voiced by? Sean Connery or Liam Neeson? I actually kind of want to see this. Because I love both fucking actors. Mm -hmm. But I'm just like, I kind of want to see Cyan played by Sean Connery. If you saw the latest Game Over Thinker, you saw James Bond being voiced by Sean Connery, which was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Domino just kind of meshed them together as Sean Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> or Liam Connery. Liam Connery. Crivens says Rowan Atkinson. No! <laughs> How dare you! 
Hey, Rowan Atkinson actually is a really good actor. I know, if you've ever seen Black Adder, you'd know that. You also That's... got to see a, a bumbling Hugh Laurie, which is hilarious. Uh, apparently Psychosis is uh, saying he would be a good Cyan. I would be a good Cyan? Mm-hmm. I have a I have a voice for ra I have a bleh, I killed my own joke. I have a voice. <laughs> Damn it! I did it again. I have a face for radio. <laughs> How can you have a face for radio when nobody sees your face on exactly. radio? Exactly. That that's the joke, Kanan. It wasn't funny. Well, it's it's as old as radio is itself. The DJs are usually like big fat dudes that do cocaine and everything and yeah. <laughs> He said, give me a health potion. Shake it, not stirred. Yeah. <laughs> it would be tonic. Tonic. <laughs> That's what Cyan needs. More cowbell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Lousy tactician says Christopher Walken. For <laughs> Why are thou doing this? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> My walking's not no, very no, 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 no. Strago should be Christopher Walken. <laughs> I have this airship. I can fly below the Empire's guns. Strago, not Setzer. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Where is my brain at? I don't know any good lines from Strago, so we're on our own on that one. Yeah, good luck on trying to find Earthbound on NES. I, funny that you should mention that. <laughs> Well, Psychos is like, uh, I'm looking for Earthbound on NES, not Earthbound Demi Force Hack or Earthbound Zero. Earthbound he Zero. Said, and he said only four of them exist. Right. <laughs> Patrick Stewart should be Cyan. Nah. Okay, here's the thing about Earthbound for the NES. You're only gonna, if you want a legit copy, there are only four prototypes out there. One of them is in possession of Rue from Clan of the Grey Wolf on RetroWare TV. I have no idea how he got the money for it. More importantly, how he, he even got it. Body parts. Huh? He probably, has it, he probably stole some body parts and sucked some dick. Well, you can get about $70,000 for a kidney. My brother, I'm not making this up, was seriously considering doing that at one point in time because well he needed the money because he's a poor college student kind of like I am so anyway um there are only four translated prototypes and eventually that prototype ROM got dumped on the internet and that's how you have those reproduction cards uh, the guy who translated it I can't remember his name right now but he named it Earthbound Zero as to keep it in line with the SNES original, which would have been just Earthbound, but you know, they know it as Mother 2 in Japan. So if you get Earthbound Zero, that is indeed Earthbound, and I may or may not have a copy being made for myself right now. Because I saw that video game lore episode on um that was like video game lore in a minute or something like that whatever that series is called yeah say coaches you will never get one of the original ones yeah if you actually do you know those are extremely conscious items and if you do you better like keep it in a vault <laughs> anyway um earthbound zero looking forward to getting it i will stream that just because like, I, I have Earthbound, and it was... I'm not in the camp that Jared is, where it's too quirky to be enjoyable. I'm actually more intrigued by the music that was composed for it, because it has so many influences by the Beatles. But also the um, whole thing about um, th about the character Gygus himself, where he wasn't necessarily a bad guy the entire time. Yeah, don't spoil it. Well, yeah, I, I'm not spoiling it. By I'm just saying giving that. you that warning, because no offense, you have a really bad fucking habit of spoiling. And then your excuse is, the game's been out for X amount of years. Well, it has, but I mean. It does not matter. Yeah, okay. But, well, um. Don't at me. I'm just saying, there's a lot of people that, you know, you have fans, like people that are in here that, you know, are from different countries. So they may not have had access to the game. Not to mention, we also have a shit ton of young people. So they were fetuses for when some of these games came some out. Some of them weren't anything more than a glint in their respective parents' eye. 
But... Or as my uncle so eloquently put it to me once, um, when we were going into a restaurant and he goes, Oh, you haven't been here since you were in Baghdad. I'm like, what? He goes, you know, when you were in your father's bag. Oh. That's, that's my uncle, ladies and gentlemen. Well then. Ain't that special. Mm -hmm. So, but, yeah, so you just gotta remember, like, yes, the game may have been out for X amount of years, but some people may have never been able to act, they may have never had the system to play it. And now that a lot of older games are being easier, like, putting on Xbox Live or PlayStation Network, mm -hmm. or, you know, they're putting in HD collections and things like that. Yeah, when so, they put Gunstar Heroes on Xbox Live or Gay, I was like, thank you. Exactly. So there's still, like, younger generations that are now being introduced to games that we need to play. So don't spoil it for them, because it's still new to them. Maybe right. old us new to them. Don't say old to us. <laughs> you anyway, know what I, I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, but no, um... Yes, yeah, spoilers. Kick his voice by George Lopez. <laughs> oh, give me a break! Um... But no, this isn't really giving anything away about the plot of Earthbound, is that, you know, the, the you've probably seen enough lists out on the internet that where they list the scariest boss. And in fact, yeah. it was on ScrewAttack's own list, you know, top yeah. 10 scariest bosses. Um, Guy Gist was number one, and you're probably thinking, like, oh my god, this guy's a monster. Well, he has a, without giving anything away, he has a bit of the Anakin Skywalker complex. <laughs> So, I'm just gonna leave it at that, you know, someone who had noble intentions in the beginning got totally lost sight of it and, well, bad things happen, so. And it's for that reason that I have to play it now because I need to know why it happened. <laughs> and also, the music is one of the many reasons why it may never, ever get released over here because it was just gonna be too much work. Um, not necessarily getting rights to something, or localization problems, but it's gonna be like... ...potentially paying out a hojillion dollars in royalties for it sounding similar to other bodies of work by other famous musicians. Lousy tactician, no spoilers, please. What did he say? Or better yet, put it, put it in the Skype window for me. Yep. Because there is, um... Uh, Shir I Shiratori Atoy, I think his name is. He said he got the mu the inspiration of the title Mother and the whole music set from John Lennon's song Mother, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, oh like man, that. dude, why would you put that in there? <laughs> yeah, seriously, guys, please don't put it actually... I don't mind, like, you know, joke spoilers. That's fine, Danny. Just, one, don't spam it. But, two... Don't spoil games, because like I just said to Tom, because Tom's bad for it, and Shelby does slip up at times too, don't spoil a game for someone, because it may be their first time ever playing it, or Giggity. watching it. <laughs> Domino, spoilers. Tom will probably suck at this game. No. In fact, I will show you a way to beat this boss, if I get to it in time. Um, a way that many of you probably didn't even know was possible. Kind of like how Shelby and I knew to use the magic cape with Dan, and you didn't? It never occurred to me. It really didn't. Like, because, you you know, it's like, this is it, this is Gan, and I gotta... Because, you know, like, every game that features the Silver Arrows, you know that that's like... Or even the arrows in general. Actually, I think it's been every game since then. Um, since the original, that you've had to use arrows in Gan. Well, anyways, the, the, what I'm trying to say is... Well, you didn't think about it. No, I didn't, because I was like, I better have the arrows ready! You know, even, you know, then, now, everything else, that's that's where my mind was. <laughs> it's like, I better have the arrows ready, because I'm gonna shoot him. I like how this... <laughs> Spoiler, Tom will cheap out the boss instead of taking it like a man. Actually, I... <laughs> the funny story on... I Actually, it's not a cheap out on the boss because you still have a much more significant chance of dying this way, but it's just a hell of a lot cooler to do it this way. And, and you'll see what I mean. Because you think I'm going to cheap out the boss? Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. No pain, no gain. And that's the god honest truth about the way you beat this boss. Okay, so if I'm remembering correctly, you get the plasma beam and the space jump in this one. Hmm, metal door. Can't go there yet. 
Well, really to that question, Shiro, depends. Do you want the game order of that, or do you want the, air quotes, official timeline answer to that? What if- oh, are we talking Zelda? He said, did the light arrows replace the silver arrows, or vice versa? I said, if you're going by game-wise, then yes, the light arrows replace the silver arrows. Correct. If you're going by timeline... Then... a little of both? Um, they started out as light arrows, and they yeah. ended up being silver arrows, I guess, the whole thing. It's like, well, they just don't have the punch that they used to. Rather than being enchanted by magic, let's make it a permanent enchantment. Perhaps that was the line of thinking. That or maybe Ganon has evolved into part were pig. Yeah. And you know, to, well, you to, never to, see him in his human form that often. If you follow that timeline, he just yeah. he just gets, you know, he he pretty much is that. You never let's see here, uh, Ocarina of Time. <laughs> <laughs> Wind so Waker. Says chat, he says chat room poll next game for er next game for the next pro review. Yeah, good luck on guessing that. The better question is what system? You see, he hasn't said anything about it that would indicate exactly. Yeah, and that was the whole thing. The fact that he said five minutes in I have a splitting headache. Like, oh he's got a like, highlight. And, and and the reason they gave that away to me at least is because he talked about Hydlide on Dude, he the streamed stream. it. Yeah, he and he said, it. you know, I, I, I want to talk about this a little bit off. more because we all know the nerd did one, but I don't think he did a good enough job of talking about him. I'm like, oh, he's going to talk about that. That's that's what the next pro review is going to be. That has okay. to be it. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But this, honestly, I've seen people say it, and I agree with this. This needs to be a shirt. These trees are trying to kill me. Fuck you, nature. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I would wear the shit out of that shirt. Jim. Jim the Night. Jim the Night. <laughs> That was funny. Somebody should actually dress up as a really, really shitty knight and then get one of those Hello My Name Is stickers and put Jim and just go up and hug Jared. It's like somebody was cosplaying as a character from a show that I did. Best name for a knight. And yeah, no, Shiro, he will never do Predator. He has said, I will never... Never do Predator. Never say never. <laughs> With the amount of time that he and Chad have put into that game on just screwing around, I think it's warranted. But it's also, like a, yeah. To do that next SG, SGC. There you go, there's a cosplay outfit for you, Psychosis. Go as Jim the Knight. Jim. Jim the Knight. Seriously, could almost see him. What the hell? Could almost seriously like seeing him going back to do other. Well, um, I don't think he's I... gonna go back and change things, but that little um. I don't know what to call it other than ego rapturism because that's the only other series that I've seen, and I'm certain there are other series that do that, but that's the one that I identified it most with. That that style of presentation and humor just gels with him so well. But, um. No, it won't be Beetlejuice, Wordman, just because ha -ha, he and Chad have both just put so much time into that game that they said... That was cruel. Gonna... That oh. was so cruel. I know. They tried. I felt, I felt so fucking bad for them, because it's just like, oh, you poor bastards. Like, the amount, like, four fucking hours straight of Beetlejuice. But they, like... They Not said, Rare's no, proudest so... game, I'll say. No, but they put so much time and effort into it that they're... They, he said, you know, we have to beat it. So. The fact that they, like, figured out how the game worked, and then the game just, by being bad game design, came back to screw with them in the end, which is mm -hmm. most unfortunate. Yep. Now, hopefully, for you guys... That tactician says wall jump it. I can't wall jump, man. I suck at it in this one. Um... There was a... Well, they're gonna beat it, because, well, remember, uh, Chad oh, kind of made the offhand comment going, I should come over to your apartment, and we should get drunk, and then beat it, and you stream it. And Jared actually kind of agreed to that, so we don't know okay, if... Okay, I missed thing. that. That, that yeah. was a thing? Yeah, that was a thing. Oh, Chad my. mentioned that. So I don't know if we will actually see them beat oh, it on Jared's stream, 
or if they're going to actually just spend a day and get it up to that point for Terrible Thursdays and then go from there. Okay, first off, Psychosis, when I have fought you in Third Strike, I have kicked your ass. Second of all, we had all eight slots filled up, which is why you weren't invited. I sent you the message, learn to read it. Skill. And I'm, I'm talking about what just happened, not not talking about the fight between you and Psychosis in Third Strike Land. <laughs> yeah, whenever it's time to play with any of us, it's really a first come, first serve basis. <laughs> like, still, I'll find a cart. I already have Predator and have yet to beat it. That's awesome, Wordman. Yeah, congratulations on uh, beating Strider on the NES. That game is uh, as hard as, if not harder in certain places than its Genesis counterpart. And if you ever do get the Strider of Manga on which the, ga the, the games are based on, you will see that the NES version is far more faithful to that storyline hey, than the Phantom Genesis Death. one. Phantom X Death, sir! Welcome to the big show. Also, fair warning, since it's Labor Day weekend, we may hear fireworks go off at some point. I've you already guys, heard like, You guys get fireworks fire for Labor Day? No, we have all the different ethnic communities that like to light fireworks. Okay, then. That, that's what I've told you, like, on Canada Day or any, like, major, like, uh, Victor uh, Victoria Weekend. We're, we're, like, in the epicenter of all, like, the ethnic groups, so they're just like, FIREWORKS! <laughs> like, seriously, we're not far from Chinatown, so it's like, depending on what direction you get, you either get Little Italy, Little Ukraine, Chinatown, Spring Ball. some other... Nice. Kanan will eventually get Steam when she gets a computer that can run Steam. Steam should actually work on your current computer. I don't think you're going to be able to run any games on it, but you <laughs> Then what's, at this point, it's like, what's the point then? What's um, the point being of able to be able Being able to co-com whenever I do a PC game. That, that's the that's the tangible benefit that I can think of from coming for from that. you. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want to ignore the chat, and that's regrettably what's happened whenever I've done a PC game. It's been basically watch the six of us derping around, and everybody. Oh, pardon, I didn't mean to burp into the microphone like that. Um, and everybody else who's watching kind of gets left out in the cold. Um, it's using the same codec as Skype, so it should sound as good as, if not better. <laughs> Kriven says, don't worry, Tom, I'll co-com for you on Steam. No, Kriven. <laughs> and apparently you dissed, uh, Psychosis in the chat. I did not diss Psychosis in the chat. I think he's referring to the last PC game that you did, because he's like, don't, he's like, don't remind me of that, Tom, you fucking dissed me in the chat. What? And Lousy Tactician says they'd co-com for you. Okay, I didn't mean to diss you in the chat. I don't remember dissing you in the chat, so... Uh, sorry? Oh, and Wordman says thank you for the congrats that we gave him earlier for uh, beating Strider. Hey, no problem, dude. Seriously, that's no small feat. <laughs> Mal says, oh, come on, Tom. Kirvin's being good tonight. He actually is being very well behaved. Uh, yeah, we had a come to Jesus moment last week, so... Come to Jesus. Oh, we'll just leave it at that. Did, did, did one of you try and play with a wooden cross and nails? <laughs> no. I can't see that being good. No. There's a lot of blood loss involved when you do that. Come on, damn it, jump. So you can think of it like a learning experience, like you're on the period. Or I, I ac good. actually, I have. Because you had of a male period? No, no, I, there was a there was a problem that I had when I was in the hospital. Did you pee red? No. I was on a lot of opium-based painkillers and if you don't hydrate enough, you get kind of backed up. And all right, we're gonna leave it at that. Okay. Well, anyways, let's just say that some cold water needed to be administered, and it caused it a cramping. And then the nurse explained, "That's what it feels like when you're on your period." I'm like, "I have all the respect for that." Yeah. So. <laughs> sure. I went. Oh, I know that feeling. Um. Yeah. So, uh, no cold water. 
should have been hot, but they said they had to do cold to get the swelling to come down. It's like, thanks, but not really. <laughs> They were just trying to do their job. Too bad their job sucked. And we've lost Kaden. Let's see if we can't get her back on. There uh, she is. I think they started to toggle the, uh, the line again. Why are they throttling your internet? Isn't that illegal? Not yet. <laughs> he said, Dang the Tompkins! Or if I'm not you. That's funny. Technically, I could go beat Ridley right now, but I require better equipment. Equipment that is hidden within her. All I can think of is that just moment from DBZ abrasion of, We're gonna take you to Lord Guru, and he's gonna touch you? Pull things out of you that you didn't even know you had. I needed an adult. I am an adult! Yeah! <laughs> Just had a total flashback. Good times. Why don't you go play Metal Gear since you got it on HD Collection, Psychosis? Such a good game. Damn it. Like, seriously, and it's on Games On Demand on Xbox Live, so for those of you who want it and can't get it at the store, just get it on that and play that. It's just... Ugh! It's amazing. Seriously, so good. It's worth owning digitally. And physically. Great freaking game. And jump! Hey, got it on the first try. How about that? <laughs> Normally I miss, either left or right. I'd clap for you, but I'm busy. Your hand's occupied? Yes, on the keyboard. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going that way. No. Double click your own mouse. Tom double clicks his own mouse quite often. Sometimes twice. Mm hmm. Because no one will double click it for him. I know, isn't that horrible? Mm hmm. Maybe if you'd stop playing in the sandbox, someone might come along and want to play. As opposed to trying to take her child away from you. I. did. Wow! Burn! Yeah. I think you need some aloe for that. Can you get some aloe vera, please? That's what's gonna happen at SGC. I'm just gonna walk up to you. I'm just gonna hand you a big ass bottle of aloe and say, This is for the weekend. <laughs> Criven. Jesus to you. Tom, I wanna have your gabies. No. <laughs> also, that's pretty gay, yeah. <laughs> but they'd have the best looking nipples on the block. Don't encourage him. <laughs> but Kriven's my friend. I thought I was your friend. <laughs> Sometimes, when you're not hitting on me and trying to get down my pants. I... Okay, I... Oh, that's right, these guys need the plasma beam. See, I can freeze time, as long as I'm scanning for things. <laughs> Flying glass comes in. God, Tom's whiny tonight. He's on his mail, period. Shh. That's not the problem. The problem is foreveralone.jpg. Yeah. I, on the other hand, am enjoying being single. Having one of your better moments? Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. Besides, why deal with the hassle that I had to do with my last boyfriend when I can just go and buy a battery operative one? I don't have to listen to bitching and it just requires batteries as gifts. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tom has been compromised! Retreat! Retreat! What? I have no clue. <laughs> Was I like, like, the secret guy to try to like, woo you over or something? If that's the case... I would <laughs> Yeah, like, if that's the case, guys, thanks for not letting me know that I was, like, a part of a plan or something like that. Appreciate it. Know who my fans are. 
Jesus. Oh no, Flying Glass, it's just, in all honesty, it's like, uh, I've been discussing this, uh, earlier with my Third Strike buddies, and she's like, I don't really want to date right now. I got burned pretty bad by my ex-boyfriend. I'd like you really, to You don't want to date, you really just want to bone. No. <laughs> no, not even that. I really? told you. I told you. I brought one home one night that did not go well. Never again. That you just can't hold that no. one guy. Dude. No, I'm really. I am not actually the type that I'm just like. Hey, I'm gonna go. You look cute. Let's go. Fuck. Was nice knowing you. I honestly would rather. I just met you, and this is crazy. No. I will slap you. I will somehow magically reach through this computer and slap you. Damn right you shut up. <laughs> I'm also trying to concentrate on something. There we go. Mm -mm. And what story, Flying Glass? Yeah, what story? I don't know no story. No, he he just like I've heard that story, LOL. Oh. So I don't know who he's or what he's referring to. Your 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 <laughs> conquest <laughs> and how it backfired. If he's it's talking just... Yeah. But really, that was a conquest. Uh, fl yeah, flying glass. <laughs> he was there that night. Oh, really? Yeah, that night that I was having the conversation on... I think it was your stream or Shelby's. I think it might have been Shelby's. That I was discussing that. But yeah, it's just like, flying glass was there for that conversation. But... No, I just... Honestly, if I'm going to sleep with a guy, I'd rather be my boyfriend. But I really don't oh, want to play. Hope it was romantic. Not even that. It's just like you never know what you're fucking bringing home with you. Literally. That is like you know, going to a fast food place. It might be good, or you might be spending time on the toilet afterwards. This is true. Mhm. Mm then again, you also get what you pay for. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Remembering card. Yeah, it's that one right there. Oh, damn it. Okay, Psychosis says, Tom, you should be Arnold in Total Recall and have Shelby be Benny. You know what happens there. I, I don't because I haven't seen Total Recall. The original or the remake. Which is kind of upsetting because I like Paul Verhoeven's work from Robocop, so I think I would like Total Recall, but... Because for those of you who do not know, Paul Verhoeven is a very angry German. And they tend to do pretty good movies because of that. <laughs> Bracing for impact from Backlash from the chat for not have seen, having seen Total Recall. Psychosis, he really can't watch that right now. Watch what? He'll watch oh, he, he linked to, I guess, whatever he was alluding to with the earlier conversation. But since you're playing this, you kind of can't watch it. Nope. Now is not the time. <laughs> it's a job, Flying Glass. It lets me buy vodka. Yeah. Which I'm opening right now. Not enough for tequila yet? No, just about looks indifferent. In Soviet yeah, Russia, vodka drinks you. Hey, I gave this some of this to Slava. He likes it. That's good to know. Yeah, it's Ukrainian approved. <laughs> Aha! Slava was going to a rave tomorrow. This should be fun. Yeah. I told him to bring me back a neat glowy stick. He yeah, me too, flying class. He just said, I hope you're not there long enough to get your discount card. I fucking hope not. Oh, what? The, 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 the alcoholic discount card? No. Um, I work in the cafe in Loblaws. Loblaws is a big grocery store. Uh -huh. After, what is it, three months flying glass? You get a, an employee discount card. So, it discounts everything, with the exception of the liquor store, because the uh, the LCBO, that's the liquor store, it's not owned by Loblaws, it's just renting space in our store. I see. Oh, six months. <laughs> See these guys? These are Metroids that have not fully matured yet. 
Notice how that they can be killed with just regular laser weaponry. <laughs> no special weapons required. <laughs> That's how fragile they are at this point in their lives. But they still pose the same energy-sucking threat, so... If they gang up on you, phew, Watch out. Yeah, in our Loblaws flying class, we have... Uh, the the Joe's clothing, and we have the liquor store. Everything else in it is Loblaws. Like, at one of these points, I'll take pictures to show you guys. Like, you do not understand how big my store is. I guess we don't. Okay, to, to put it this way, like, the cafe is at the front of the store. For us to walk back to the employee area, it's a five minute walk. Nice. Yeah. Which is why most of us don't start at 15 minute breaks until we're in the break room. Yeah, normally uh, when I would have yeah, to... Yeah, glass, I'm in the Maple Leaf Gardens one. You go ahead and uh, phone it in saying, I'm going on break. No, as soon it's as you like get to our the back. breaks, like the, uh, we have, depending on the shift, like if it's an eight hour shift, you have mm -hmm. two 15 minutes breaks and a half an hour lunch. Yeah. Uh, um, the half hour lunch is the only one that you actually have to, like, clock out for. Gotcha. So technically, you're not officially starting it until you're by the break room, so that one works. As for the actual breaks, they don't really harp on you if you're, like, if you're a few minutes late, so I know quite a few of the staff are like, yeah, we don't actually start it until we're in the break room. Smart. Psychosis, like, play Metal Gear Solid like a normal person. What was the question? Chat room vote. How should I play Metal Gear Solid HD Collection? Blindfolded, PIP, or with one hand? None of the above. Yeah, play it like you should play the game. Yeah, and seriously, dude. I mean, I don't, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish by doing that. I, like, he's trying stuff like a uh, Roulette Tuesday. Oh, that's not a game you do. No, no, that's a game. You play for the story. He sees her one-handed. What are you using the other hand for? Oh, he sees no. her. We don't want to know. He's not playing Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. I don't know. Meryl's kind of hot. She is. <laughs> mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like once Chiro you see... says, you ever play through Metroid 2 The Return of Samus? I have. I own it. And I was... Crestfallen when they canceled the Game Boy Color version. Thursday psychosis. Thursday is terrible Thursdays. Can't <laughs> Wordman says try pulling off the Evo 37 combo in Third Strike blindfolded side. <laughs> we Honest God, if anybody could, I'd say it would have to be Chad because Chad knows the sound from an arcade stick, so he'd know exactly what he knows exactly what move you're pulling off. Yep. You got Which that is... point with me and my friends when I was trying to do the raging demon in Street Fighter 4. Yeah, we refer to that as penis. Penis? Raging demon, think about it. Oh, the raging <laughs> one-eyed demon, I mean. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, so one of the... Or, or he has that one special, as I like to call it, the wham bam thank you ma'am. <laughs> Oh, speaking of Terrible Thursday, did you watch... Did you go back and watch the, uh, no, the whole thing? No, I didn't thing? see that yet. Oh my god. <laughs> the game itself is very, very average, but the way they ended up playing it and Sam's commentary was just... so freaking good. It's like, I'm glad we're playing for keep, Chad James. <laughs> I just realized, where's Muda? Yeah, where is Muda? Hey, is he... painting Brody. Hey, I know him! I know him too. He's pretty well known on the yes. site. The fantastic picture of uh, Rainbow Dash doing the salute mm -hmm. from, I believe, the Return of Harmony episode. So yeah, where's Muda? I guess he's busy tonight. Oh, no, sure. Like, let me go see if I can find him. Yeah, go and bring him in here. We're up to, what, 15? That's good. Oh, hold on, we're dropping frames. I'm gonna let it get caught up. I don't know why it's doing that when the bitrate is well exceeded its uh, regular points, but huh, interesting. All right. Ooh, I'm seeing like talk about like notification stuff in chat. Guess what I 
finally got working today. What's that? I know. N I now no longer have to ask you or Mal to tell me when somebody is streaming. Oh, the notifications for. Uh huh. Oh, that's fantastic. This part's cool. Oops. See, that's how weak those guys are. You can kill them just by using the grappling beam. I always thought this was cool, but unfortunately it gets completely negated by the time you get the... <sighs> ...space jump. Whoops. Didn't mean to have that on. By the way, I'm pissed at Kaneko. Why? Why? Cause he got me to listen to that motherfucking Gangnam style. And oh now I'm no! Addicted to that damn song. I, like, uh. I saw your tweet the other day about like how that might have, song has a future in Dance Central. Honest to God, I do see that in Dance Central because as a, uh, I clicked on one of the hey, this video might have something to do with the video that you're currently watching. Do you want to watch it? And it was came on one of those like you know morning television sitcoms or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he was showing the dance. He actually went to uh, to university in the U.S. Oh neat. Yep. Um, but anyways, uh, they're like, oh my god, they're like, your songs, like, you know, become a viral hit. Were you ever expecting it to be so big? They're like, you know, even some big name celebrities are uh, pulling off your dance moves. And they actually showed, like, Nelly Furtado in one of her live concerts. Um, she was doing the dance with her backup dancers. Nice. <laughs> so Ethan says, I'm addicted to, I need backup. Thanks, Kaneko. Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, is that what he's doing? No, no, that's the, uh, it's from Captain America, the I Need Backup. Oh. And somebody actually went and made, like, this techno song of I Need Backup. It's oh. actually a really interesting song. Gotcha. Yep. Shiro, you ain't the only one pissed at Kaneko. Why? Did he not make you a sandwich, Shiro? <laughs> no, we found out in, um... After my end of Race to the Finish, we found out that Kaneko made uh, games for the TurboGrafx-16. Because there's a company called Kaneko that made Aero Blasters. It's like, oh man, he got out of the kitchen long enough to make a video game, how about that? Why the fuck would you do that, Psychosis? He's like, Tom, if you beat Super Metroid before 1050, I will destroy both my N64 and my Genesis. Why the fuck would you do that? That's cruel and unusual punishment, man. Dude! And no, I'm not gonna be able to finish it by then. <laughs> Ethan, are they cooking games? Oh my god, can they go make Cooking Mama? That's... There is actually, back home, there is a restaurant called Cooking Mama. I shit you not. That's awesome. Yup. Oh look! Kaneko's here. Yay! It's like Beetlejuice. When you say Kaneko's name enough time, he appears. I thought that was the devil's name. Neither or works, really. What? I thought there was something down here. Apparently not. I think, Shiro, he was mentioning that to you, he streamed earlier. <laughs> oh, there we go. Just forget a comma. <laughs> Get back in the kitchen! <laughs> Kaneko says, Double equals me. Thanks, Tom! Wait, what? When you mentioned the... When I ma made the allusion to Beelzebub, <gasps> you're oh. like, Isn't that how you summon the, de the dem yeah, devil? And you're... Uh, yeah. Okay, so... What you do <laughs> is... To fight this boss... Is that you go and you break all these panels open, right? Mm -hmm. And then you let the boss come and actually pick you up. And that'll show you in a second here. Because like I said, you can totally, like, totally get boned. Because like, otherwise you have to shoot the guy's fleshy underbelly to go ahead and actually do any damage. And that takes so many missiles and a whole lot of stuff. The easy way... Second, Shiro, I think you fucked that one up. He's like, Kaneko, get back to the Kaneko and make us some food. Um, okay. do you think you meant to get back to the kitchen? Okay, so you're just gonna kind of 
Go fishing here. Come on, get closer, get closer. Ethan's like, I don't remember this boss for some reason. Well, it's towards the end of the game. Gotcha, sucker! And then Dude, you use the- are kind of like spanking Samus. Like, you've been a bad girl. Yeah, fish fry. Electrocuted him. And that's the quickest way to kill that boss, guys. So, basically, you just made a giant bug zapper. Pretty much, by using myself and the grappling beam as a conduit. Psychosis, either way, it's insane. Like, why would you destroy two perfectly good systems? Yeah, seriously. That doesn't serve a purpose at all. Yeah, Griffin said that's how he normally beats that boss. Yeah, I actually read that in Nintendo Power, and I'm like, that's ridiculous. And then I did it, and I'm like, that's the smartest move ever. And then I showed that to my friends, and they're like... Why would you even think to do that? It's like, I didn't think to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you said, no, Kanan, Kaneko was in the kitchen so long the English language adopted the term Kaneko slang for kitchen. <laughs> and now so you got... that, does that mean that kitchen bitch is now referred to as Kaneko bitch? I think you just used the indefi indefinite article Kaneko. Boom. Raw. Do, do, do. Oh, we're gonna play a round of good idea, bad idea. Good idea! Birthday cake flavored vodka. Why? Because it's fucking delicious. Bad idea? Drinking it on a near empty stomach after inhaling two cans of Monster! You are going to get hammered so fast. By doing not it so, like that. Oh, not so much hammered. I'm gonna be fucked. So if I start talking more diverse than usual, that would be why. Get some of that marshmallow flavored vodka. Oh, dude, we have marshmallow flavored gelato. Like it actually does taste like roasted marshmallow. Like, oh my god, I want to get like I want to go and buy a tub of that and get the marshmallow vodka. And make a vodka shake. Interesting. Yo, oh, how delicious that would taste. It would be happiness in your mouth. Minus the penis. <laughs> that's not what I meant, but then again, that's you pretty smart. You can't spell happiness with a penis. Well, then, then there's the whole tweet you put out a couple weeks ago saying, This milkshake is so effing good, why can't men taste like this? I know! <laughs> that made me laugh. Hard. Hard to fuck. They need to go and scientifically engineer a man to taste that. Modest to God, we would give you blowjobs till, like, the cows come home. And even then, when the cows go home, we'd be like, Fuck you, milk yourself. Asshole. Consistency is almost correct. <laughs> Cribbin's like, Kelly can't drink for shit. Oh, I can drink Cribbin. It's just not good when I'm on a lack of sleep, next to no food in my stomach, and two cans of Monster in me. That's yeah, a bad that, idea. yeah, that's like a recipe for like dangerous things to happen. I'm just not gonna get out of the spinny chair for a bit. <laughs> that's funny. The room's still spinning even though the chair's not moving. Or is it? Or it da na na. And that's when we run through all the things. There was no cane in the slurp, Mal. You take that back, hussy. Hmm, did I miss something? <laughs> he said, Oh ah. great! Now happiness is ruined for me. Dude, that happiness got ruined in like middle school for me because of that one episode of uh King of the Hill, where Peggy had to teach sex ed, and she couldn't say, like, vagina or penis, so she was, like, saying happiness. Happiness. Kevin, I already have a challenge to drink tequila with Kill Ollie. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Fuck. And, like, when Shiro she was... Tweeting, us her. Did you see the tweet when she was so drunk that she was laying in the grass outside and not giving a fuck? Nope. It was, like, last week. <laughs> But she was just like, I'm gonna go take a nap. It's 30 degrees outside. <laughs> Psychosis, stop with the caps, please. Dude, we talked about that. Come on. Not cool. <laughs> then it will be a festival. A festivus for the rest of us. 
Fuck no. I want to actually be able to run more SGC, thank you. I don't want to spend it in my freaking hotel room. Oh, don't worry, I'll record fast. everything, so that way you'll be able to go back in the video and go, Oh, that's what happened. No. Remember, I film everything. everything. See, now that you've said that, you're really not stepping foot in my room. What? Yup. What did I do? You just gave yourself up going, I record everything. Yeah. I'm gonna you know what? Fuck this. Kriven is gonna be my bouncer, and from now on, if you ever have to come into my room, I am allowing him to do the patent chat, and I will no. give him rubber gloves. No. And I said I record everything because there are just stuff that happens that you just don't know about. Like the whole thing yeah. with uh, Keith and the water yeah. slide mob. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Or like them playing elevator tag. That was particularly amazing. <laughs> ah. I'm sad though. I asked Jared on Formspring if he was going to do another epic nerf war, and he's like, I don't know, I got kind of out of hand. Oh, it did, because it turned into Left 4 Dead, and there were a lot of, like, dead. There was a lot of dead, but there was also a lot of people, like, um, G1 Captain Sano and Afro Nick that were cosplaying Left 4 Dead 2 characters, so they were really getting into it, and there were a lot of people that were wanting to be a part of it <laughs> that weren't in costume that just made things kind of awkward and difficult for everybody else. <laughs> so, take that for what it is. So yeah, from the sounds of it, there may not be a nerf war. I'm like, aww, but I was gonna go and get a big nerf gun, and it was gonna be fun. Fuck that. I'm getting a nerf gun, and I'm gonna snipe Jared. I will instigate! You will fire the first shot in what will be a very long and ugly shootout. <laughs> flip over some tables. Pretty much, and there are plenty of tables to flip over. Oh yeah. And not to- not- not to- Oh, no, no, I just realized you would be fucking fantastic if we could get every fucking G1 to bring at least one nerf gun. I have an armory. And, well, hold on, hold on. And when they do the big opening ceremonies- No, 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 no not- no. no. Damn it, Vesh! I'm talking! Have everybody have their nerf guns, but hidden. And after the big opening ceremonies and all that fun stuff, and we're about to get comment on our merriment, Everybody opens fire. Okay, that's better. I thought you were gonna like pull like a high school graduation where everybody like has um I'm gonna pull a buffy. We're gonna wait till at least after There we go, plasma beam. After plasma bitch. Um yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> Flying glass Canada versus US nerf war. <laughs> don't Psych don't <laughs> Psychosis Kane and for Mario Party after SGC twenty twelve. See, you're one of the few G1s that I would feel comfortable sending you on stage for that very reason, because I know you can take as much as you can throw. Well, the, see, that's actually the thing that made me laugh when, uh, I think it was both Sam and Chad were mentioning it, when they're like... Yeah, yeah. Because somebody said, you know, could we ever have a G1 up for Mario Party After Dark? And they're like, see, that would be cool, but we don't know them, so we don't know how much they can take it. They don't know us, so they don't know how far of a joke can go with us. And I'm sitting there going, I actually played Mario Party 2 with Sam. And I'm like, there's like chat. I bet these played two out of the three players. <laughs> yep, yep. Yup, yup. What? what? Griven Kelly Hart on the Buffy reference. Damn right, Hart on Buffy. Angels. Um, which Buffy though? Sarah Michelle Gallo. Okay. Derp. No, just being sure. There's some fans that that like the movie better. I don't know why, but they do. Only because Pee Wee Herman was in it. Paul Rubens. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Like, uh, well, that's the part everybody remembers him best for. <laughs> exactly. Kermit is the real Buffy. What the fuck? <laughs> now I find it so cute with Kane and Slurs. Draw your own jokes, there, folks. That one writes itself. Oh gosh. <laughs> Damn woman! It moved. Keep that to yourself. 
it's a joke, then yes, of course. Because I don't want to know what horrible things you're gonna do. <laughs> it's like, it's like, Kanan! Tom! Hug! And then you promptly throw me across the floor and I was like, what the fuck? It's like, I probably deserve that. Kick to the face, and that. And then it just keeps going and going and going and going. It's like, yeah, I probably deserved all that. See, see, th here's the funny thing. I'm gonna cosplay as Alice. That's gonna I'm make it even better. Let me finish. I'm still debating on getting the hobby ho horse made. I'd say go for it, and I'm not uh, just saying that no, just for saying, the obvious I, reason. I had the hobby horse made. People better run. Yeah. Four. <laughs> yeah. The only problem is like that's gonna be huge. So trying to actually bring that across the board. Get that uh, vorpal blade ready to go. Oh, oh, that's gonna look real cute. Man, why is there a large knife in your suitcase? Well, you see, I'm Well, you check it in, so that way you don't take it as a carry-on. But they still put it through a scanner. They do, <laughs> it's just that if they check it in, that there's not a whole lot that they can say to you. My mother's brought back full-length fencing swords and broadswords from France without so much as a problem with customs. <laughs> I like this flying glasses. I think it might be fun to grapple with Kanan and not in a sexual way. Dude, I will send you across the fucking room. She will hurt you, dude. Hmm? <laughs> you said, I went past my stupid, eh, stupid phrases quota for today for after third strike, so I'll be low on the horrible puns tonight. Thank fucking god. The only person that can do horrible um, puns worse than that is Carl. I don't know if he's out there tonight or not. I was gonna say, you, you're bad for puns. <laughs> I'm bad, but Carl's even worse. Just wait till I get my old videos up. There's the the ones that he pulled out at Magfest were just like cringe. I'm gonna cosplay as Shelby. And Kruman's like, I'm gonna cosplay as Tom's girlfriend. Um, funny story. Don't have one at the moment. Almost did. Didn't work out. <laughs> so in other words, he's going as the Invisible Man. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, if she's non-existent, obviously invisible would be the correct term. Yeah, but you said invisible man. There's a problem with that. Man comes after woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you! You can't fight my logic. It's true. We just rhymed. I realize that. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. I did that with Brent. I can't. We were talking about something, and he. He just lined it up on it, and I went da 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 and he went whoop! I was like, I fucking love you, Brent. <laughs> it was so awesome hanging with him. He and is truly something else. You guys, if you've I'm never sorry. met him I'm sorry, before, I mean... Him and Liz are fucking adorable! They're like the most adorable couple ever! Yes, and, and I'm sad that she didn't have marshmallows for you, but the fact that she... That you guys got hammered was, was pretty awesome. We weren't hammered, she just bought me a drink. Oh, I thought you guys had a couple. And the no. whole sweat factor probably didn't help either, but... Oh god, it was disgusting in there. <laughs> Crewman, Drag Kelly is amazing! And Kaneko says bad joke is bad. Not as bad as your face, Kaneko, so get back oh, to the kid. Oh shit. That's... How was that joke, Kaneko? That just happened. <laughs> See that? User, I want to cosplay as Doom Guy, or Quake Guy, and rock and jump over all you bitches. <laughs> Even Brony's like, oh snap! <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. Oh, yes, Famax, this smelly cheese guy. Well, that was just nasty. Not doing people any favors with that one. Oh, God, did he ever stink? And what was bad was I was trying to record the show, and he kept, like, getting in my way. I felt like booting him in the fucking ass. What stopped you? <sighs> the fact that he would have face planted right in front of Brant, and he might have tripped Brant. Ooh. Yeah, that's kind of a, that's kind of a problem. Yeah. Oh, this is the part that I was remembering. Well, it's kind of a one-way entrance because <laughs> of the... Kaneko, <laughs> that wasn't a joke. That was just mean. No, Kaneko, that was the truth, and sadly, truth hurts. <laughs> okay.
think Kaneko- I'm gorgeous! Keep telling yourself that, darling. Whoa! <laughs> Someone got told! The hell kind of a voice was that, Tom? I, I don't sounded, know. You sounded like, kind of like an old lady. Even good! <laughs> <laughs> totally. Would your children like some toffee? <laughs> <laughs> totally watched Lauren Ermagerd again. I want to see what her cosplay costume is at A Fest because her and Heidi both worked on it. So I I'm like, I saw them I tweeting. Want to see. Yeah. No, I was talking to Heidi on Form oh, Spring, nice. and I asked, I said to her, uh, I said, you know, the fact that you make jewelry. You make your own cosplay costumes. Have you ever thought of doing commission work for co uh, for cosplay? Funny and that you mentioned that. <sighs> well, actually, that was pretty much how it went. Was that she's like, well, she said, I've actually considered it, but she said, you know, the whole thing with measuring. I she said, if it was locally, I'd have no problem with that because I can make an appointment to measure them. But online, it's kind of hit or miss. So she's like, but on the other side, though, Lauren and I are, did a collaboration. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my said, God, nope. can't work! He says, don't worry, Kaneko, I find you gorgeous when you cook us food in the kitchen. Oh. Damn. There we go. Yeah, I was having a moment, went through and found the exact tweet that Lauren sent out when they were trying to film the taking clip of the week. Where she actually typed, Oh my god, can't work. <laughs> and then she tweeted back, like, You are in absolute love with that advantage. Kind of like, You have no idea. I watched it at least once a week and still laugh my ass off. Oh, I actually, uh, Brent didn't see that, so I explained that to him. Because oh. Betty loves doing the. Oh, you know the best part is like anytime I do that, like Er my good newsroom, Er my good bot always retweets it. I'm like, yes. And that, that dude, that's just so freaking funny. It still, it, and you know what? I'm doing all right. I'm chuckling. Every time I watch, I'm chuckling. But the Word part. Said, this one video I find myself going back to was the Metroid Monday with Craig's epic fail on Met Super Metroid. Oh, that was a good one. Also, I really do like the moments that he kept having with the original Metroid, where you just keep talking and talking and talking, keep walking and then and walking. he got lost. And said, so, "Sean, I have no idea where I am." <laughs> well, golly gee, Craig. This makes me think that having Craig on a road trip would be a bad idea if he was the driver. Well, they went, they got to E3 all right. <laughs> I thought they flew to E3. Uh, E3 2010, they drove. Oh, oh, Jesus. And um, they stopped at uh, San Antonio so Nick could try to eat the 72-ounce steak in, like, <laughs> like, I think it's an hour? They need to bring Drake for that. I think they might, because he split up with the girl that was giving him crap about his uh, eating contest habits. So now he's kind of free reign to do whatever he wants. See, now I was under the, the implication that they split up, but they're still together. Oh. Like when well, he they... was talking to Shelby, because he said, I have a date on Saturday, and then he like let it slip that they broke up, but I I'm assuming that the friends with benefits. Well, that's, you know, that's fine too. As long as nobody's getting emotionally hurt. There's no harm in that as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, but when you're friends with benefits, especially with somebody that you've already been dating, there's emotional shit. Well, yeah, that's gonna happen, but you know, it's it, like, it. I'm not saying it's for everybody, because it certainly is not. Oh shit, I can't remember which one it is. Fuck. Uh, is it this one? Kaneko says to Isan, oh, cooking complements what's already there. So you're talking about your cocktail wiener? Oh. 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 Yeah, it's that one. It was that one. Well, cool, cool.
It's, it just takes a very special person that can do the FWB. Like someone, like unfortunately, I fall into that category because I've had to, for years, train myself to separate work from uh, friends, and that was one of the hardest things. It's like, but I thought you're my friends. I am your friend, but I'm also your boss, and I have to watch out for the best interests of the store as well as you know everything else. So that kind of came into play. And other things too. How the f do I get up? Oh, spring ball. Duh. Damn it, Beavis. Stop yeah. it. See, my college boyfriend was my boss. But the thing was, though... He told was me he... about that. That was some bullshit that he pulled. Jesus. Yeah, because he got off on it. I think he just got off on like this power trip of the fact of like he would harp on me for shit that I wasn't doing just so he could look like big man on campus. Until I grabbed him by the throat and slammed him against the wall in front of one of our other employees. Note to self, never do that. <laughs> and and note to... Actually, that meant to say note to everyone watching, don't do that. Yeah. It's like, if you want to, like, stay with your girlfriend, that's what you don't want to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do I have all the E-tanks? Yep, no, and, and his excuse was... Sweet, all the reserve tanks. Like, yeah, he's like, you know, I'm the assistant manager, you know, I can't show favoritism, and blah 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 blah, and I'm just like... Well, good for you, can you, do you want a not cookie? Showing, I said, you're not showing favoritism, in fact, you're being downright spiteful to me for shit that's not even my fault. Just can't do it. What can I say, Malik? It's the fucking point across. You really don't piss me off. I actually am quite a patient person. She has so a certain set of skills, guys. <sighs> Pushing patience level. Anyways, Pay I'm your at... compliment. Mm-hmm. But anyways, I actually have a lot of patience, as tested for the fact that I pot driver's ed for three years straight. The fact that you co-com with me. <laughs> the fact that I have to put up with you on a day-to-day -day -day basis shows my patience level. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Saint Canaan. Mm-hmm. So, but anyways, I do have patience. So if you really actually push me to the point of being extremely pissed off, I will get extremely violent. Which is why I warn people, you do not piss me off. And not to mention, he was also shorter than me, so I think he was just one of those guys of, you know, it, it's like yapping dog syndrome, you know, tiny dogs are always the yappiest because they're making it for everything. It's the same thing for some people. Pretty much. Okay, what am I doing wrong? See, it's always fun you can actually, you know, grab a guy by the throat and hoist him up against the wall and slam him at the same time. Pitch <laughs> yeah. Kane and Joe slams people? Damn, I like. What do you think I've been saying? Marry me for like the last 8 million times. <clears throat> Why do you think I keep saying no? Cause she's not into me. Running time. Okay, one more pass. And God, can I get those two rooms and we're done with Meridia? No, I will not choke slam Kriven. <laughs> I want no. Psychosis and Kriven, both of you. Oh, some of you get down the street. Fireworks. Oh, I can hear whistling and the character going. Ah. Playing glass. Some guy into that. Oh, for example. Yeah, exactly. I like women of power. Yeah, like justice, I said both you and Kermit drop it. What's going on? Oh, they're arguing back and forth in chat. Oh, Boys. No. Aha! There we go. <laughs> now, see people, this is why you become good friends with the angry group can choke slam people. So he keeps going. You don't have to. You can be the bigger man and just ignore it. By continuing on, you're antagonizing 
and continue. And it's pissing me off. So stay on it. Poor Phantom X that keeps me at the best of times. Like, this is Coke Slant. The hell's Coke? Leave for two minutes. Ugh. Leave for two minutes, find out about all the things. Okay, we can choke slam people. Yes. Ability. Like I said, you have a certain set of skills. I was funny, I was standing next to a Brent where it's like the air, and he's talking to somebody, and I had my arms crossed, and basically he had one of those knock on good moments, so he like looks all around, and he looks at me, and he like knocks on my, like, on my forearm. He's like, yeah, it's the closest thing to what I can get. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's like thanks, Brent. Got jokes. Brent's got jokes. Oh, so he kind of has a thing for saying, "Mammy." Mammy. That's an Al Jolson thing. No. Mammy. Yeah. You know the really funny thing is that no, I've heard that song. I, I, cosplay -ish. I don't know. You, that'd be kind of cool. No. Okay. Not into being a lawyer <laughs> or a judge. I've actually been told, like, asked several times I was a lawyer just for the ability that I have to she flip shit around. Or she makes sense of nothing. Nice. Mm -hmm. Psychosis hasn't spoken to you in the past few, so he's actually stopped. Hmm. What? No. What the hell's going on down? What? So you got crazy ass going on outside? Can you not hear it? almost sounded like psycho chanting slash yelling and screaming. Nope. Like, Can't hear a damn thing. Like, do we have a cult going on down there? Yes, live human sacrifices are going on. Right meow. Um, I guess? Psycho so, can you make comments like that that will antagonize people. What did he say? When he told he said, you know, Kriven shut up my mic, got it. And Kriven Nash hasn't said anything to him for a little bit, so that's why I reprimanded him on that. He went, good. The twats are at rest. So that one. Okay, seriously, helpful. dude, come on. We talked the other night. If you haven't taken anything away from that conversation, I I, I don't know what to tell you. Seriously, okay. man. Apparently, my was for Yeah. I beg your pardon. Apparently my voice is robotish. It just started doing that right now. Let me hang up call and see if that fixes it. Get okay. Fuck. Well, may as well since I'm here. Hero. Hero. See, Psychosis, if you're in such a bad mood, then why are you sitting here and getting more pissed off? Yeah, it kind of seems like it would be counterproductive and counter. If you're, if you're honestly not in a good mood, go do something that actually puts you in a better mood. And for some reason, the stream video died on me, so I gotta refresh chat, so I'm not gonna be able to see what people are saying for a moment. Okay. Chat still. Oh, low. I know what's going on here. 
At least I think I remember what's going on in this one. Damn it. <laughs> there you go, chat's back. Yay! Huzzah. Huzzah, indeed. Uh, Agent Kane, you have a stalker? About that. Aw, Shiro! And Psychosis! That is a lot of money! Shiro just said that I was just wiped of, uh, $1,500 because some asshole stole my visa debit card. And you don't see me being an ass, and I'm actually having fun. And then Psychosis said, Shiro, your point, $1,500 isn't much. That is a lot of money, Psychosis. Dude, that's and like... The fact, and the fact that Shiro is actually in the middle of trying to move to Texas for a job. That's a lot of money. Yeah, dude, seriously, I had that much taken from me, like, when I was at SGC09. And that pretty much made me have to reevaluate everything that happened to me on that, on my vacation, because I had... Not sure, or, sorry, that psychosis, that's a lot of money. That may not be a lot to you, but that is... No, it's just like, that's a lot of money. That's a salary for someone for a month in some places of the world. Exactly. Like, I was getting a little bit more of that than at my height when I was at GameStop. Okay, what the hell is up with this room? Yeah, and Agent Kane also had his, uh, credit card hacked. Yeah, I mean, I got the money back eventually, but, I mean, the point yeah, is sure. that... Have you uh, filed, like, a claims or something for that? Yeah, you gotta call... you gotta call Visa ASAP. What the fuck is this room about? There's no point to this room. Unless... Hell, oh, there's no way. Unless... Not fast enough. Okay, let's try this, and if not, we'll just move on. Yep, I guess we're just gonna have to move on. I really thought there was something. Sure, don't go. Damn it! Really thought there was something about one of these sandfalls. <sighs> well, I guess not. Nothing's coming up on the visor. Well then. Please go a message here to tell him to come back. Oh, we're gonna just go down the other way then. Thanks, Kribben. Oh, man. There was a reason to come down both sides. Missiles! <laughs> now, I can't remember if the max is 200 or 255. Sarcosis, what's pissing people off in the chat is the fact that you are disregarding that money was stolen to someone from someone, and that is a good chunk of change. It may not be a good chunk of change to you, but to someone, that's a monthly salary. It, and kind of pissing on that 
for people, so it's pissing them off. So please stop that. You you don't know what other people's financial situations are. You just can't go ahead and say, oh, that's nothing. You can't. You know, that's all that some people have, and losing that kind of money all that sudden can really screw everything up. Exactly. Like I said, he is in the middle of moving to a different state. Every little bit of money helps. Also, he's in the military, and he deserves that much. Crying out loud, dude. Okay, on to Norfair. Norfair's that not that far off. Let's see if I can wrap this up in the next 45. Mm -hmm. Mal, I got your tweet. Thank you, sir. On to Norfair, kitties. The previously unaccessible parts. Welcome back, Shiro. Yes, welcome back, sir. <laughs> mm, someone's birthday. Oh? <laughs> I can hear people saying happy birthday. Oh. Isn't that nice? Uh, well, I guess there wasn't a whole lot that I didn't cover in this place. Well then, at case, let's do this! <clears throat> Those guys suck, I hated them. Freezing hmm. plasma, plasma burn of freezing variety. I know, but Max, I thought we should the most interesting, interesting things. No, there's um a church of some sort. It's it's a church, but it's more rec hall than anything. Mm -hmm. Um, it's rented out for all like the the big parties and events for a lot of the different uh, cultures around here. And then they've also got uh, bar Loki's attached to it, so you hear a bunch of interesting shit from there. Nice. What's wrong with your dog, Agent Kane? I just froze lava in lava. Figure that one out. Oh, fan max death. Oh, what bank do you go through? Or is it one sponsored by the... Military. Uh, no, uh, this is Fan Master. Hey, Hyper Combo! Hey, Vicky! Welcome, dear. Oh, RBC. I was gonna say, if you were with uh, TD Bank, I don't know if RBC has this option, but TD actually now has uh, what we like to call a credit builder credit card, where it it is a Visa, but it's attached to your checkings account. So if you have money in your checkings, you have money for your credit card. So wait, it builds a line of credit alongside your exactly. checking account? Exactly. You because you think, if you use your credit card, and you've got the money obviously in your checkings account, it's immediately paid off. Fascinating. It's like your visa, but then it's immediately paid right on the spot with your checkings account. Therefore, you are establishing credit. Yeah, we don't have any... well, I'm not gonna say... Actually, you do have one because my ex-boyfriend was... Wait, wait, wait. Listen Aaron's to that music. One. Really? 
Oh god, I'm sorry, Cannon, I forgot again. Mm -hmm. I'm and not just saying that. Psychosis, why are you telling Psychosis, why are you telling everybody run? Just curious. So wait, Agent Key, is it your dog or somebody else's dog that you're taking care of? Is it time for somebody else's stream? Is that what you're going on about, Psychosis? I didn't know anybody else was broadcasting this I, late. I have a clue. He's like, it's time. He's getting closer. Run. I, I don't know what he's talking about. I have no clue either. <laughs> How are the kitties, Hyper Combo? Yeah, he's easy, easy kitty cat. Oh, they're so cute. Makes me miss my Samus. How appropriate, considering what we're playing tonight. I know. I've told you my cat's name. I know, and I also... My Nintendo representative, Lindsay, uh, her cat was Samus. <laughs> and Samus has an affinity for destroying Q-tips. She doesn't like Q-tips. She'll relentlessly attack them. Maul them to pieces. It's rather funny. <laughs> now you sound bothered for a moment. Haha, <laughs> suck it. No, thank you. I'm talking to the space pirates because they're jerks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you only tell the jerks to suck it? No. I mean, oh, jeez. You set me up. Yep. Good job. Huh. Oh, they're one-way floors. Oh, that's gonna be fun, Hyper Combo. She gave them catnip, and it's their first time ever having catnip. Have fun with that. They are hammered right now, is what they are. <laughs> they're high, the difference. It's not alcohol. And Chuck says, Okay, question for all, including Tom and Kanan. Yes. What style should the next Metroid be? The style like Tom is playing, or back to the FPS style? <sighs> you know what? This is my favorite Metroid game, but I loved the Prime series for what it was able to do to make you really feel like you were in the Varia suit. Like, even the little subtle things, like when there was a bright flash of light and you saw Samus's eyes reflected on the inside of the visor, those steam effects, you know, you don't see, even today, a lot of first-person shooters do those kinds of extra touches. So, I would love to see another first-person Metroid, but at the same time, I don't want poor Retro Studios or whoever makes it. Um, the guys that did the one on the on the DS, uh, Metroid Prime Hunters, they did a fantastic job, too. Um, it's cool and all, but I, I kind of... I like Super Metroid, so. I, I do, too, and I, I like what they did. Um, there are certain parts of Other M that I like what Team Ninja did. Um, but the whole thing of taking the Wii Remote and pointing it at the screen and then suddenly jump to first person, that's gotta go. That can't come back. That was very jarring. And the fact you really didn't aim, you just kind of pressed the fire button wherever you were pointing, you know, that wasn't... That, 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 no. <laughs> there's certain things I liked, there's certain things that I didn't like. Um, I would almost rather them do 2D sprites versus uh, a 3D model just because the hardware is powerful enough to do that kind of stuff, but, you know, I'm not the guy making those decisions. It's At this point, it's almost easier to make a 3D model. <sighs> oh, time to fight the... the gold... Hey, it's the Golden Chorizo room, where you can go ahead and get all your stuff maxed out if you hack. Well, I don't do hacks, bitches. So, suck it. And then this thing shows up, and you're like, what is up with this guy here? And you're like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh god, that's right, I forgot he catches super missiles. And Chuck says, the follow-up should be a console title, or back to a handheld like Fusion, Zero Mission, etc. Um, I think the only reason why Fusion and Zero Mission were on the Game Boy Advance is because they didn't want to dedicate 
resources to a game of that caliber on the GameCube, even though I think it deserved it. I don't think Metroid is at the point where it's only going to have the niche following on the handhelds. I think that's rather disrespectful. Um, and you know what? If they want to release it just in North America, so be it. Let them do it. Oh, for God, they're sidestepping. You bastard. Eat plasma. SD. Mm -hmm. Psychosis, you're in timeout because you've been antagonizing the chat, whether it's purposely or not. You've really been upsetting a lot of people, so you're in timeout for a bit. And now we have the screw attack. The namesake. And um, thank you for doing that because I was about to tell you the next time that he says something. Um, he and I had a talk on Steam Chat the other day, um, trying to get to the bottom of some things, and the fact that he said a bunch of things that I would like him to back up with proof that he did mm -hmm. not, and I said, well, dude, I can only help you so much. Yep. And I but really... I have, I have I, nothing against you, Psychosis, but you have been antagonizing people in chat, and it's really pissing a lot of people off, so you need to have a timeout. I don't want to sound like, you know, we don't want to sound like mom and dad, but please think about what you've done. And if you have a problem with that, please PM me on the site and let's have a dialogue about it because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. That's <laughs> not allowing you to enjoy yourself when you're here. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't feel threatened everywhere you go. You shouldn't have to feel like you're always on the defensive about things. So. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, look where we're at. Oh, hi there. Um, but I'll go wrong. Whoops, let's get a running start on this. Let's do this. And jump! Anyway, Metroid. I would like to see it come back to 2D, but I also think the 3D holds its place. If you really want to, like, do it this way, you can have two different studios working on it. You know, Team Ninja want, says they want a second chance. Um, I am not going to be that guy that says no. Like I said, there were certain things I knew that they did right. They just need to figure out the problems with the narrative. There were some things about that that was needing of help. Although I will say, even though the way they handled the power-ups was rather ill-received by the vast majority of the playing audience, I do think what they did was rather creative. Because that's the big thing, it's like, oh, why does why does our beloved heroine, you know, lose all of her powers at the beginning of the game? Well, there's no real good way to do it. You know, Metroid Prime had a clever way of dealing with it the first time, but every time since then, why'd you start out from square one when you, when you play, um... Metroid Prime 2. <laughs> yep. It's like, you got all that awesome stuff, the only thing you technically lost was the phase on soon. That's only- whoops, sorry, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Um... See, I stopped myself. <laughs> oh, damn it! Crap. Now I gotta go all the way back around. Wait a minute. Okay. Nope, I really have to. Ha 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 ha! Let's do it again! <laughs> Whoops. 
checks it. I want Team Ninja to have a second chance. I think there was a fair amount of good with that title. So I yeah. Sure it's, yeah, sure it's coming. Yeah, I, th th there was definitely a lot. This says I like Fusion's reasoning for uh, losing powers. Fusion's Fusion's made perfect sense within the context of the story, and it's nice that it you know you got rejoined with it by the end of it. Also, the fact that you were technically offensively capable as you were in previous Metroid games, the fact that you were defensively vulnerable far more than you've ever been. And the fact that you had that big monster lurking around the space station was just... Well, it just kind of put that sense of helplessness and powerlessness in you that uh, a lot of games really can't convey. So that was a cool thing by... I think it was Nintendo EAD that did that one. Good on them for being able to figure that out. Not many people can. Not without sounding all jive and contrived and all that fun stuff. Are you serious? Wow. Oh, for God's sakes. Really? Really? Oh, yeah, God. Kane's ninja wasn't the problem with other M. And Chuck uh, says, Fusion is probably one of the best entries, or one of the better entries in the franchise. Wait, 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 what did he say? Fusion is probably one of the better entries in the franchise overall. Yeah. Because it told a story that not a lot of people <laughs> expected. It says, Fusion was also the last numbered entry. Damn it, give me Metroid 5. Yeah. It was numbered. Oh look, it's a mouth. See, I didn't even- I don't think I ever noticed that before today. Huh. <laughs> what? Sure, the spoiler told. Hi. Oh. Oh. Look back, honey. I beg your pardon. Canadian brownie was AFK. So I said, walk up my brownie. Huh. How do I get there? I guess I loop back around? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess I come back. <laughs> now, spoiler in a couple of hours, the sun will rise. Oh, no. Much brownie, band hammer got dropped. I think that's the first time we've had to do that in the stream. Nope, because I've had you drop it, band hammer, see my Shelby was doing. No, 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 in mine. I know you've done it in Shelby's before. I think, um, once I had to do it in yours, you actually once had uh, a span come in. Oh, well, I mean, a legitimate one, like somebody was misbehaving that was a regular patron. And then I did it by accident to Agent Kane, I think. Thinking I could unban him. That didn't turn out very well. I still feel bad about that. And you should. And then I got... And then I... As Mark McGuire says, I misremembered getting banned. I swear to God, I thought it was Shelby that did it, but... No, 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 wait, I think I said you did it. And it yes, was actually you, Shelby. Like, yeah. Yeah. See, I can't even remember my own misremember. Mis mis yeah. I I'm just gonna stop and talking for the you second. Were, I called your tweet. You said, I said it out on Shelby's chat, and Shelby's like, "No, no dude, that was me." <laughs> oh, that was live. That was live on your derp. Yes, it was. Lay me derping around. I was speaking of which, I spent like entirely too much time on Rage comics today. Lost like a good like couple hours of productivity to that. Yeah, they had it. Like one of the best ones is this girl's trying to sell her uh, her car on Craigslist, and she says, you know, cash offers only. 
no uh, no exceptions. And this guy says, we'll trade car for bed. And she's like, what the F did I just post? You know, no trades. And then, and then she gets an idea and responds back with, in the, with the troll face. How many miles does it have on it? Nice. Yep. And apparently I sound like a uh, Oh, Kletos again, but they keep saying Kletos. Lavos, what? Kletos, Kletos. Oh. Oh, GLaDOS. Okay, gotcha. <sighs> okay, before she gets upset with this, let me explain to you, like, when you are in the military, when you are not on active duty, they will sometimes pay for you to go to schooling, whether it's for something down the road on your own time, or it's a further help you with your military education, often military will pay for your education. And I'm sounding robotics, so I'm gonna call you back again, okay? Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Am I choppy? No. <sighs> Not for. Chat. God damn it! What am I doing wrong here? Oh, they're gold. Okay. Yeah. So chat room. Do I still sound choppy? And fan uh, access says Tom, you gotta shoot those when you jump. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot about that. Uh, Hypercombo, currently I'm enjoying the cake flavor bucket. Okay, so apparently Psychosis, you did not hear me because of my audio. When you are in the military, if you are not actively sent out, you are still on a list, meaning that you can be called at any given point in time. However, in your free civilian time, oftentimes the military will pay for your education, whether it's to further you in the military itself, or if it's for a future endeavor once you leave the military. The GI Bill. So that is why Shiro can both do college and be in the military. That's something I gotta get my buddy Sean to get on, because he's got the GI Bill, and I think he's only got two more years left on it before he can't use it anymore. He needs to go back to yeah. freaking school glass, like I do. Flying Glass and Shiro are both saying shoot. Like, oh, Shiro says shoot him, and Flying Glass says you can't shoot them. Or is it you're not shooting them? Well, you gotta shoot them when they're in midair, but I'm past that. Is the stream really that far behind? I don't think so, yeah. Because right now I'm I'm farming, as Craig doesn't like okay. to call it. Later, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. Tweet as you exit. See you in a few, fam. You know what those are gonna be? Oh God, jeez. It's about to say it's like, did I just go right into Ridley's room without being maxed out on anything? It's like, not your smartest moment, Tom. Okay, so apparently Oops. since Psychosis can't magically hear me anymore, he sucks horribly at third strike. It was like beating a newborn. Hey, 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 don't, 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 don't. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Tom, I'm going to type you something in Skype. Look, don't, me... don't. Okay. Magically, she could hear that. You know what? This would be a good time to ask. Psychosis, how old are you and what do you do for a living? 
Because I want to know what job where $1,500 is nothing comes from.